Now, settle down, settle down, class. Today's our first lesson on logic gates. Now, what on earth is a logic gate? Well, a logic gate is an electronic circuit designed by electrical components, you know, like transistors, resistors, and all that, to uh, output a certain input. Now, the potential inputs will be zero or one. If you listen in your computer classes, you'd know as to do with binary. We're going to learn what that is in a little bit. Let's go check out some of the, uh, the logic gates. So, for the first logic gate, even though it seems incredibly simple, it's the basis of everything. We have a buffer. Now it's just an on and off switch. This is the table of contents is that we'll be using to define what equation meets to what. So if it takes an input, that means it will be equal to one. Without an input, it's zero. So one, zero. Now, moving on to a not. If it's not active, the input's an input. And if it is not active, if it is if it is active, that means it's not active. It's just an opposite, because that's what redstone torches do. If you input into a redstone torch, it turns it off. So this is the basis of every inverse for the logic gates. Over here, we have an OR. <laughs> Seems like the most simple thing is, well, yeah, it is. Either one can be powered. It just needs one to power the, uh, the gate. Yeah, now here we have a nor. It's a not plus an or. So if it takes power, it turns it off. It only doesn't turn off when both are unpowered. Now we're going to move on to the and. Here we have an and. Now an and, well, you can kind of guess, just means this and this powers it. It's got two redstone torches powering this, and then it's got this to compare. So only when these two are matched up with these, does that want to do that. And it has to be in it has to be in subtraction mode. Otherwise, well, it will just need one input. Well, it does not because that's the input. But once it's in subtraction mode, it works. Redstone's a bit weird, so you might want to do some funky stuff, learn how comparisons work. I might make a video on that. Uh, now we've got a NAND, which is just the same thing, but inverse. You need two inputs to turn it off. Uh, I mean, yeah, makes sense, really. That one's far more simpler than that. It's how you make locks and shit. Works pretty well. I'm gonna go to the next one. Uh, so post editing crumb here and I figured that the fact that that one's a bit weird to explain I could show you a simpler version of doing that It's basically just doing this what you want to do You just want to do that It's better if we use a target block here since target blocks can directly Move like that. Can we just do this and then we uh, Well, yeah, we do this. So now That one becomes this table of contents, both are powered, will equal to one. One is powered zero. Uh, this one's powered zero, both powered zero, instead of uh, it being like this. But now it's the inverse. So you can literally just inverse it. Boom. Now this is this, and it takes up basically the same space. Uh, yeah, <laughs> literally the same space. Over here, we've got a XOR or XOR. Now, the way this works is a bit weird, okay? So, it turns on when these are different, but when they're similar, it turns off. So, when they're up, they're down, they're off, and when they're down, they're also off. They just need to be different, and they activate it. Let me just turn this off. This is how it works, right? That feeds into that. And at the moment that this feeds into that, that will also do... It's a bit of like a feedback loop. I'm awful at explaining redstone, even if I understand how it how it works. I need to get better at this. This is the first like live commentary I do. Uh, so yeah. Now here, we have a XNOR. Now, 
well, you can kind of base it off the uh, the habits we're going with here. If something's got an N in it, well, that means it's just the inverse. So let's grab the table of contents of this one, uh, by the way. There's two ways to build it. One is just this way, which I kind of like doing it more. It works better for my brain. Or you got this way, which is just to make it a redstone torch on the input. So it just reads the inverse uh, for one of them. Uh, but let's look at the table contents over here, comparing it to the last one. So for this one, if both are the same, it stays on. If one's different, then it turns off. That's the complete opposite of the other one. So that's basically how nors, knots, and things work. And that is just the basics of redstone logic components. I'm not used to uh, recording live commentary. If you were to check out my other videos, you know they've all been like recorded and, uh, and planned. Uh, I'm not very good at that. I'm not very good at talking on a whim. Uh, so I'm going to try to improve that. Uh, anyways, yeah. Ta-ta. Abosh. Have a good day. Uh -oh.